welcome back folks this is acid roots let's knock out another of these episodes of black thorn we're basically in the home stretch i mean there's only like how many more videos left in this we're really making progress i just have to have the drive to get these last two or three percent done of the entire game beat sarlacc and then we'll essentially be on our way we can get back to Super Metroid, we can get back to uh, Final Fantasy VII, and probably start some new stuff. Also, I've got plenty of ideas, but it's just that this pandemic is really causing me to... I mean, it's basically having to juggle something that you don't want to juggle. I'm trying to think of like some sort of vivid picture that I could contend with, but it's... You really do have to know how to multitask in order to truly benefit in coronavirus times. That's the thing, you know, for people who have to risk their lives every day just to make an income, you know, you understand that sort of thing, but it's not what you do, you know. I have a duty to you, the viewers, to, for those wanting to see this to the end, to be able to do it, so that just kind of happens to be the thing, but we have another of these bastards, but luckily I've learned the trick to dealing with them. They're not nearly as tough as they were back in the forest world. I'm just trying to get it taken care of. And, uh, you know, I might just feel so inclined to get that last stage of Blackthorn taken care of also. I might just be in the mood for that. I mean, it's really no skin off my nose to do it, but... You know, it's, only, it's the last stage I have to do, and then it's the Sarlacc. So... <laughs> see how those two things go. But now, if you want to see a really cheap part of this game, keep watching. There's some real uh, fuckboy shit that happens right here. So, I'm just kind of... I thought you could jump up there, but I guess you can't. You have to use the levitator. That's not all. So, watch. Now, I was going to take the path up here, but by the time... The golem stopped rolling, the wasp would probably hit me, and I'd get hit by the explosion, probably get hit by the golem, and get hurt by the fall damage. But I didn't want to have that triple entendre bullshit, so I decided to use the levitator to destroy the wasp. But unfortunately, you think it goes through the rocks, but it doesn't. It kind of decides to go the other way. Like that. And watch what happens. So obviously I'm going to take the hit, so I try to avoid it, back up, put the levitator back a little bit further, but the orc didn't care. He's a wise guy, apparently he's a pro at using these wasps. was not expecting the AI to be this intelligent. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have been able to, to be honest. But... Fuckboy shit, basically. No way of avoiding it, to my knowledge, to not get hit by that wasp. Luckily, I had health. Now we have to take care of the golem. <laughs> not get knocked off by it. Orc. So, but after that, this stage is essentially wrapped up. As long as you know that, you're fine. You're gravy. I'm just gonna do this the cheap way, you know, or the skilled way, rather. smart on my hand. I mean, really, if I would have fought him from a distance, he probably would have blown me right off the cliff and I would have fallen to my death. If it looks like all the way down, that's a fall of death. And I would not have wanted to do this stage over. But I recommend, if you see that part, folks, to do the same. This Kyle, he likes to fall to his death. He's a lemming. <laughs> and I don't like lemmings. I don't think you would either if you needed them for your cause. So let's get the hell out of this stage, shall we? Use our wasp to knock this out. And for some reason that kills the homie of ours. 
so we'll pour out a 40 in your honor, dude, but this is kind of kind of awkward that that happened. But alright, now we're in stage 2 of World 4, so after the stage, just two more stages. So, uh, I tried snipping this last part, but I wasn't able to, so, okay folks, so watch what happens here. I, I have to explain it to you because... I wanted to, I was going to show this from the beginning of the stage, but I wanted to kind of, I don't know what I was trying to do, but we're going to show me trying to do my previous gameplay segment, I'm going to die, and then we'll go back to the beginning of stage 4-2, but this is the end of stage 4-2. I just had an attempt from a previous gameplay segment, and I stopped it midway, and I thought I could beat this stage, and I couldn't, so... Uh, that was the reason. So, so during this particular segment right now, I was still under the belief that I could beat this stage, and of, of course the rug gets pulled out from under me. So watch and see, folks. So I forgot to get the bridge key or the the force field key. So. Just get a little taste. So I don't know how many Let's Players have done something like this before, but let's spice it up. Let's be original, huh? So. But rest assured, you will see this stage from the beginning to the end. So. Where do you think I'll die? I mean, this is how much health I have left. I get shot one time and I die. So, it's not recommended that you go in with these sorts of tactics, just so you know. But, in this area there are bomb spiders, just and that's what kind of hurt me before. enemy. You know, <laughs> they really are too. I mean, they're just idiotic at this stage. Just curl up into a ball and try to smash you. you know. Even I forgot where I die at this point. This is really the end of the stage. So I almost kind of made it, but this is like... Uh, It's gonna kind of make this next segment a little bit short, but... And that wooden platform up there is the end of the stage. We just have to get back to it. It's not that simple if you're wondering. Here we go. Yeah, there's traps. So. Yep, those force fields will hurt you. I've proven that at the beginning of the game, but Kyle perishes. So, Alright, here's the beginning of the stage, and now you will see the true attempt. I'm just, I'm gonna take no mercy. I'm just gonna say, you know, I probably had played through it about four times at this point, maybe even five. I was just like, fuck it, I'm just, I'm just going to be merciless at this stage. Like, after that many times, it starts to reach a point where you start to have... I was ready to turn the game off, to be honest. I was just kind of, uh... I was like, you know, I'm just gonna have to come back to this game tomorrow. I'm just gonna delay the recording a bit, but I'm just thinking... It's gotta be done, it's gotta be done. Sometimes I kind of feel like when video games give you lives and stuff, 
I feel like having three or four lives before you get a game over, I mean, that's kind of appropriate, because I don't know how many people, if you had 12 lives before you had a game over, would actually use all 12 before quitting and ending your gameplay session. So I don't think I would. I don't think I'd go through 12 lives unless I was, like, really addicted to the game. Maybe I would have back when I was 13, but not now. So. Yeah, so there's going to be some running jumps, and you're going to need to learn how to do it. I mean, they're still here. I was kind of hoping that they would stop them after the canyon stage, but they're still here. So, and I did fall to my death a couple times on that jump up there. So I guess I did the, do this more than five times. It's probably more like ten. So I guess I'm, you know, what I was saying before, I guess I'm eating crow. But, so. Yeah, we've got some shit to do. So, gotta use that. I mean, this is a dastardly stage, keep that in mind, folks. Wasp to take care of, a force field that'll hurt you if you don't get through there quickly enough. So. We're just gonna have to use some cheap tricks to get them knocked out. So we're just gonna use our classic orc technique to get him knocked out. We're gonna snag those wasps, because he doesn't need them. And, uh, to be on our way. We're also gonna get a potion. But spoilers, but you know. Problem with it was, I think I skipped that dialogue. I think all it says is, I think, I don't remember. You can pause it if you absolutely need to, but. Most of the time, I do kind of keep the Androthy's dialogues. That was rare. I guess I just must have been pissed or something. But luckily, this guy here can't shoot you, so these force fields actually make it a lot easier. But yeah, once again, they'll hurt you, though, so try not to run into them. Not as easy as it looks. Clean my glasses real quick. So. Yeah, we only have like a couple minutes left. So, so get ready for part 19, where we will probably get to stage three, the penultimate stage. Hopefully I'll have some good news to report, because I'm going to try to beat the final stage today. Let's use this wasp, huh? Yeah. I don't know what else is going on to talk about in this last minute and a half. Yeah, so if I haven't mentioned, I've got like... Cobalt's input on the Halloween video I'm going to do. It's pretty badass. Can't wait to see how that one turns out. You know, I really don't see commercials for soda anymore. I don't know what happened there. I don't ever see commercials for, like, Sprite or Mountain Dew or 7-Up uh, or some shit like that. Root beer I never see commercials for. <laughs> never see a commercial for Mr. Pibb or something. It's like, what the fuck? Does no one drink that shit anymore? I, mean, I know I don't, but, I mean, come on now. I would just like to see a commercial for Fanta or remember some of those shits. Uh, oh. Alright folks, so uh, 
trying to think of what else. We're just about done. We've got another eight seconds, so I'll just go ahead and subscribe for more fun. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night.